This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, we are here to analyze the biggest story. And of course, we have a very interesting guest in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu What up? Hi. <clears throat> How's it going? Okay. Okay, so let's have some Big B Ninja conversation. Um, mm. People are saying, or let's just attribute to a Twitter user who said, mm. part of Lincoln's fame came from Erica. Yeah, could, you say, could you say vice versa? Yeah, that's mm. a very good question. Mm. Because I think they've worked for each other. Mm. The same way Lacon has made Erica trend is the mm. same way Erica has made Lacon trend. Mm. And that's the same way it has been applicable to Kid Wire. So it's a triangle that you cannot separate. Mm. Do you understand? They, they, it goes like this. This I girl see. is so pretty. She's fine. Oh my God. Yeah, she ah! Yes, oh. yes. So there, there, there is a connection between the three of them, and I think they're all working for each mm. other's good. Mm. So you can't make it look like so no. So basically, Le part of Lekon's fame came from Erica. Part of Erica's fame Le came from Lekon. Lekon's fame came from his intelligence, and <laughs> um, we felt like um, Erica was type of sap sapiosexual, so she was attracted to his intelligence and not <laughs> his physique, <his laughs> right? Yeah, so um, so I can see that Lacon had this thing going on even before Erica came into the picture because that was what brought Erica closer to him, and that's the reason. And Erica, it's, it's unarguable that she's the prettiest girl in the house. <coughs> Sorry, so, she had uh, Lacon had this thing going on before they got into the house. So what before did you say? Erica came going into, into the, the picture, picture in the house. In the uh, house. Oh, okay. Mm. And yeah. like, I mean, as in fan base outside, yeah. Uh, kind well, of, you can yeah, you can say yeah. that too. Yeah, because you maybe they got too. in. I think he already yeah. told his out. He's out. Out. He's like, he's oh, not I'm even about, not even about the outside team. I think even in the house, he had a strong presence. I mean, yeah. people might mock the presence, or people might not necessarily appreciate the presence at the start. But he came in with lead lights on him. It was. It was very clear that God there was somebody body. called Lacon that entered hmm? the house. I said God on a man's body. Is who? Lacon. That's what they call him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You didn't know that. I don't see that one. No. Oh yeah. But God on a man's in, body. In the ways, I feel like he had do. that presence. And then I think because he was supposed to be mocked, a lot of people gathered around and said we would, we wouldn't allow that story to fly. Mm. And then they really. And then he was rejected. So all the rejected boyfriends yeah, stood behind had him. That, uh, <laughs> he, had, he had a lot of that stuff going on for him. But I think they all favored each other. It's it's like it's like how you cannot mention Tolani without mentioning praise. Mm. Or you can't mention Watoni without mentioning oh, Dorothy or, doing Katrina without or mentioning Brito. praise. Yeah. So uh, no, I think for me, you know, I don't watch a lot. So the part I've watched, I would say Dorothy and Ozo. Exactly. Or Lilo Dorothy and Eric. And Ozo, Lilo and Eric. So I feel like I that's attention. the same. Thing. <laughs> I yeah, like, like everybody thing. has somebody that somebody, compliment yeah. that yeah. compliment you your say, presence. You, you can't say that Tricky T has gotten his fame from Erica because they have no dealings with mm. each other in the house. But the people that you spend your time with, you know, has that. However, I wanted to talk about how she said it in the house mm -hmm. that she's not going to stop. That she's going to stop talking about Lico because she thinks that um, it's attributed to his fame. Mm. I don't know if you saw that. If you saw that video, mm. and I feel like that was a bit. That was the first America has ever said anything. That I'm like, what are you talking about? Because, mm. um, it's not that deep. I think even if she doesn't mention. But don't you agree that each time she talks about Lekon, I mean, it could apply for anybody else anyway. But in this particular um, context we're talking about, each time she says something about him, it trends. Like people get on it, and either they are for what she says or they're against what she says. It, it starts a it's conversation. Yeah, but, but I think the reason why I was still saying, saying, which is what I'm saying, yeah, it's not about. It's about it's what we are talking about now. Because she doesn't know that. So Erica does not know that, that that's what's happening in the house. So for her to know she doesn't how, know. Why? She on social media. I, see, people have, those people have sat down to watch Big Brother. So you can notice that Nengi is giving us that chance vibe read, with her glasses and all the things mm. she's doing. So they've, they've watched it. They kind of maybe drew inspiration from one or two people to say, I'm good. This is going I think to be Erica my is very confident that so she, she knows that she's has trending really in the house so possible. much that she I mean, is influencing. Come on. No, no, no. That's that's possible. That's possible that yeah. you will be somewhere and you would know that okay yeah my presence is being felt in this place you know. right now you will know it's just I mean, she might feeling. have an indication because she's never been on on the bottom seven mm -hmm. before so i feel like people who are strong would know that but to to assume fully well that you're you mentioning somebody's name is making Besides, him famous it's becoming ah. a, a public knowledge that kid wire is a rich kid and she's the one with kid wire so that alone is making him look like i'm the wife of the president no 
that type of feeling. What? Okay, moving on to the next story. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye West apologizes to his dad for revealing um, he and Kim Kardashian almost aborted their first child. Yeah, so I think he's talking again, but he's probably, I think he's talking for me. You must be so exhausted being with somebody like this. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. When I read the story, it drained <clears> the life out of me. I mean, the lady was very clear that you talking about this in public was hurtful. Mm, and almost said he apologized to his dad. Not even to the But then you're talking about it again in public. It doesn't make sense. It's like saying that, oh, I gossiped about you, yeah. I told them your big secret, but then I'm going around apologizing for the big secret that you said I shouldn't talk about. Mm, the big secret is out already. So there is nothing there's nothing to hide anymore. Mm -hmm. I think he, well, he gave what he was saying, I think he was story. learning. I, I mean he is mm. learning from his talk mistake and past. No, right. another thing uh. is another thing is one thing I've realized that a lot of people would disrespect respect you in public right mm. and they want to come and apologize in to you private, in private. Mm. so this was all i took away from this that look if you disrespect me in public it's only apologize right that you public. apologize first of all he's not apologizing to kim kardashian secondly it wasn't just i'm not an talking apology. about kim kardashian now because his father was also dragged so, when he was talking about kim kardashian it was his father and Kim Kardashian that he accused of trying to get an abortion for right. nothing. Mm. Do you understand? So his father, he's apologizing to his father right now. He's, this has nothing to do with Kim. This is him and his dad. And it disrespected We're still his father. Kim into it. I, I see you adding more information. Information that we didn't know about. What's the added Riley. information? Okay, first, he was explaining He was explaining that um, when he was younger, he, he had his own abortion, whatever, that his mom was supposed to abort him and his dad wanted to abort him as well. We didn't know that at the rally. So if you're going to apologize, why are you apologizing with new information about the man that you are claiming to apologize to? Makes no mm. sense. Probably because they've spoken in private and he just felt the need to tell him. Publicly. I don't need convincing on I'm this happy one. Some apologizing just need to be anyway. kept inside. Um, I don't think it's necessary to put your, your family's business that much out, especially mm. when it comes to things like abortion that is so sensitive. In your in your claim of apologizing, you're painting the man even worse and I don't like that. Mm. Okay, tea time continues right after the short break.